Um, now we slide right into the DSP segment. Uh, Dark Side Phil was gifted a computer. This computer is apparently very high end. It's a flagship product from whatever he, uh, whatever uh, website sells this. Um, he was gifted it. Someone paid cash money to send Dark Side Phil this computer. Uh, which you would assume he would be very grateful for, right? I mean, imagine how you, you would feel if some fucking guy just gave you a free computer that was very high-end. You'd be like, yay, thank you, right? That's how I imagine it would be. Dark Side Phil, however, is not like an ordinary person. So he gets this computer... And the thing with DSP is that he's not much of a of a computer guy. He likes mobile phones. He likes console gay man. He does not like PC gay man. That's outside of his realm of knowledge. So, but it, he wants to get with the times. What is it is 2024, and Dark Side Phil decides, okay, since this guy has just given me a four-figure computer... That looks awesome. It looks really cool. It's like this weird, like, cell. It looks like an object in a video game. Like, it would rise out of the ground and have, like, a smoke machine, like, making it all foggy. It would have, like, a really loud sci-fi effect as it's, like, unlocked. And then you gotta pull the handle and run away with it because it's, like, super important and expensive. And it's, like, the objective. It has, What I'm trying to say is it looks nice. Um, so since he gets this really nice-looking sci-fi computer, he thinks, fuck it. I'll put it together on, um, on stream. So, Dark Side Phil is very interesting to me in that he has this very explanatory way of describing things. He he speaks with a lot of confidence, and he speaks in this way that is very enrapturing. And he speaks as if he is very learned. When he talks and he describes what he intends to do, he sort of enumerates that I'm interested in setting this up, and I know how I'm going to do it. I know how I'm going to put it. Uh, and I know where I'm going to put it. I know how I'm going to assemble it in such a way that it's the easiest to deal with. And it makes it really makes you feel like, oh, he has an exact place. He has this set up in his mind already. He knows exactly what he's going to do. He's done this a million times before, and he's very confident in his ability to do this. Cool. So he explains that, that how he's going to set it up, and then he gets into it. He plugs it in, and he, like... He like he just fumbles around with it for a He's while. Stuck on the webcam. Shoot. Kind of cool looking, right? It's a really nice looking computer. Very fancy. No wonder. Definitely something that, uh, like a rich dad who works in accounting, would buy his son who like loves Fortnite. He's like, ah, my boy loves that Fortnite game. I hear him yelling upstairs with his friends about chicken dinners all the time. For his birthday, I'm gonna buy him a twelve thousand dollar computer. Just walks into the to like the store and just says like, I want your top of the line gaming computer and like well sir this thing right here has fucking rainbow leds on every fucking thing inside of it and he's like damn that's the awesome give me that so he uh buys it and ships it over to his son dsp who's 40 years old <laughs> um who then fumbles with trying to figure out where to place it uh does eventually get it set up it does start glowing lgb or <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say RGB for like the rainbow, but I just instinctively my my trolley tracks switched over to LGB because of the rainbow. <laughs> um, and then he has tech trouble. He he's even time stamped this. He went back and added time stamps to this fucking disaster stream, so you know what's going on. He gets Windows set up, and that's about as far as he gets. He immediately recognizes a problem, and the problem is is that. The fucking thing does not connect to the internet. Uh, he plugged it in with the Ethernet cable during the fumbling phase. And now 25 minutes in, he's gotten Windows set up. He created his account. He's ready to go. The fucking thing won't connect to the internet. So he doesn't know what to do. And his chat is screaming at him to download updated drivers for his Ethernet port. Um, and one of the funny things that he does is he actually shows... He somehow like capture cards his offline computer... 
And he's like, I, I don't even see, <laughs> I don't even see the Ethernet cable for, for, I don't even see the Ethernet port. And then someone actually manages to communicate to him that a GBE means gigabyte, gigabit Ethernet. And then he figures out, okay, I do have a Ethernet thing for it. Um, and he, when people say you got to check your router, he refuses. He refuses to even entertain the idea of if this device has connected to his router successfully, because everything else in his computer room is just using Wi-Fi, I guess. Um, but he doesn't even fucking consider it because he's streaming. And it's like he doesn't think to maybe check to see if that port is disabled or something, or if it doesn't, if it's like a MAC address whitelist. Like there are so many things that can happen at the router level to not allow a device internet access. It could be a driver issue, but it could also be a router issue. But he's like seething. He's seething. Like just 30 minutes into this, he hits his first frustration and he's like, yak, yak, yak. Well, this is why I fucking hate PC gaming. Thanks a lot. Oh, this is so much better than a console. Like this guy just got a multi-thousand dollar top of the line flagship gaming pre-assembled everything. Doesn't have to fucking think about it. Plug the fucker in, update the software. Boom, good to go. And he's just like angry about it. And he's saying, I don't want to fucking do this. I don't like using computers. And then it's, it's like, that's how he shows that he's grateful for this thing. And he's just seething on the stream for like 45 fucking minutes. And, and I'm just thinking like, all he has to do, it could be a driver issue, but all he has to do to, to, to rule that out is he, and he, by the way, he was complaining, he was complaining this is my favorite thing. He was complaining at some point about how he doesn't have USB ports. Motherfucker, I see, I see your universal serial bus controllers. I know that you have multiple, you have at least four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like you have eight, bro. Like, I think he's just counting USB ones or something, but then you have at least like three or four in the back. And I guarantee you, you have at least two USB C controllers. So you can take your phone and you can plug in USB C to USB C, you can tether it, and then you will have internet access regardless. Like, guaranteed. I have never had an issue, even with USB one plugins where a USB phone to computer Wi-Fi um, tethering did not work. That has always worked for me. I've never seen it not work, even on old computers. Um, so he's complete. All, like, I, I don't know how nobody suggested that. You plug in the fucking phone, and you're, bam, you're good to go. You just then click the little search thing. It updates all your drivers. Everything's fine. But he's like, like just staring at the screen for another 20 minutes. As pe and then one guy tells him to uninstall his driver, like uninstall the device. And he almost does it. He almost uninstalls his ethernet driver just completely for no fucking, <laughs> like, why would you, why would you think that would work at all? Um, yeah, it's, it's just crazy. Like all you have to, like you can get internet by just tethering first of all. And then second of all, check your router. Cause you probably have a Mac whitelist. Chances are when he was getting DDoS attacked and stuff. And he was like, he, the, the guy from Comcast came over and he was like, I want you to make sure that that router is 100% secured. Okay. I don't want to get hacked. I don't want to get DDoS attacked. You give that the tightest security settings that you can give it. Okay. And then the guy did and gave it like a Mac whitelist for all the devices in his room. And you just have to add this fucking thing onto it and it would work. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It was, it was really, I watched this entire thing. I'm just baffled by it. Like bro, just plug in your phone. <laughs> first things first, tether your phone to it, log onto the internet, um, update your drivers. If that doesn't work, then check your router. Was, I, I don't know. I don't know how. The really interesting thing about Phil is that he's incompetent. Okay. Like, yeah, I got that. But it's not just that he's incompetent. There's lots of dumb fucks on the internet who have no issue. You got, like, King Cobra JFS and Boss Man who are totally incompetent, but they still manage to get their shit up and running. Uh, how is Dark Side Phil less incompetent, more, or less competent, more incompetent than those people? And I think a huge reason why is that Dark Side Phil doesn't have, like, an inner circle. Like, he doesn't have people around him that he trusts, you know, where if he has an issue, he just says, oh, I'll just talk to the, to my friend, 
who is good with computers, and walk down the checklist of what to do. He just hits a wall. He's at the limit of his very limited knowledge. And then he just starts getting angry and starts pouting and like yelling about how much he hates it and complaining that things aren't the way that they should be and that he knows better. And it's a really bizarre personality set. I'm just like, how do you not have somebody that you know that can tell you how to tell your phone and, and check your, your router whitelist, bro? I don't know. I enjoyed this video. Um, it's an hour long and it's mostly just him being angry. Um, so uh, I'll play like a m minute of it, like just the last two minutes so you can get a vibe for how this is. But this is like where he's just sitting in silence, staring like angry the entire time. And it, it does like from 20 minutes in, once he realizes that it doesn't connect all the way to the end, he's just like sitting there with dead air, like just like grimacing at his screen as his chat tries to scream sense into him. Um, and if anyone in chat wants to try to tell me why he has no friends whatsoever, I am, I am genuinely interested how he's reached the age of like 40 something without having a single confidant that he can talk to about simple, simple tech issues. I really don't know. Uh, I guess I'm just never using this thing. I guess I'm going to return it. <laughs> it's lonely at the top. That's a good one. guy. No one in chat seems to be able to explain what to do of any sound mind, right? Andy will help him. Andy will figure this out. Andy is the key to all of this. He's not likable. That's why he has no friends. So, I mean, the dead air felt it. I love, I love, this is the best thing I've added to the overlay in the longest time. All right, so someone basically is telling me I need to download these two certain drivers. They know actually what motherboard this PC has and everything, but I don't know how to install drivers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know oh, how to install if I get them. That's the other thing, is that the, the chat was trying to tell them, like, oh, just go to your other computer that does work. Download the drivers that you need as installable executables. And then port them over by USB. And he's like, I can't do that. I only have two USB ports. One in the back and one in the front. And it's so awkward. It's such a bad design. He even says it's it's like uh, form over function or something. Like they don't put all the USB ports in the spot that he would prefer them. So he's like bad mouthing the designers of the case. Like the USB spots should be in the front. Even though you can see where it's at in his room. And the fucker can walk behind that. And he, if the USB spot was on the underside of the case, he would still be able to access this just fine. For whatever reason, the the spots being in the back is really upsetting to him. I don't get it. Uh, and then, but yeah, it's like, well, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to go to the internet and download drivers. But I don't know. the tethering thing should have been the go-to. I don't know how to do it. Like, I don't know how to install it on here. And I also have no open USB port to plug in a USB drive. Because both of them are now being used for my USB adapters. I guess if I plug those inside, then I could plug a thumb drive into the front of this PC. He explained when he was showing the USB drives a while ago that one of those USB slots is for his super bougie fighting game controller. He has like one of those game pads that sits in your lap that you can use that's like... That's like a perfect stick for fighting games. If you're used to like the old console arcade game controls for fighting games. And it's just like you're installing drivers. All you have to do is get the installer onto the computer and then you can free up that USB slot. If you had one slot, you would be able to get these files off and then plug back in your mouse. But you're complaining that you don't want to unplug your fucking controller unplug the controller that you're not using because you don't have internet access to play your fucking fighting games and then once you've moved the files off of your usb stick plug it back in why is this a, it's like it's like drug side phil is tasked with the um the the old puzzle of like the the hen the fox and the grain where you have to like bring over the hen eats the grain and the fox eats the hen and you can't leave them together but you have to cross all three one at a time across the bridge. You do the chicken, 
Uh, you do the fox, you bring back the chicken, you bring across the grain, you go back alone, bring back the chicken. It's like that. It's like the, the you, you, most people in the third grade are exposed to a puzzle of this complexity that they can then solve and use in the future. I have three things. I don't need to use any of them, but I have to free up a slot. How do I do it? I don't fucking know. I'm going to return it. It's bro <laughs> it's broken. I don't need this piece of shit. This build is so weird. Because I don't have open USB ports. I have to go inside the PC to get open USB ports. So again, style over substance. The style is kind of weird, and it makes it harder to do stuff like this. Like, sure, if this worked fine, the style would be great, but it's just a major pain right now. So thank you, $5 tipper. Let's see what, what other tips these are. And then just stare. Yeah, I'm not doing the IP config stuff. Sorry. If it doesn't even connect, it ain't gonna work. Oh my people, god. People are trying to help him when he's angry. Stop trying to help me. I I don't want solutions. I want to complain. All right. Part of the I'm gonna have to use a thumb drive and download drivers onto a thumb drive and somehow load them manually onto this PC. Somehow. What's also really funny about that is like if you want to do a complete offline driver update, then yeah, you can do that. But you don't have to do a complete offline driver update. You just need the one. You're updated. Is something wrong with your motherboard? Or if you have a network card, you just need to update that. And then if that works, then you can install the rest automatically. You only need the one. But he's acting like he has to install drivers for the entire fucking computer offline. That's what I'm being told. Although... Luckily, someone sent me the information on how to do it, because I would have never figured this out on my own. Like, I don't know what motherboard's in it or whatever, right? Oh, excuse me. Why do so, people... <laughs> I don't know. Where's the guy that said this? Why do people watch this? I have no fucking idea. I have no idea why people... I don't think a lot of them do. I don't think many people do watch Dark Side Phil anymore. I think he gets, like, a lot of hate watchers, but his content is, like... Um, he has like a handful of people that watch him that he just milks really hard. Like, I think if you look at Dark Side Phil's viewers and their, his income, his viewer to income ratio is probably one of the highest viewer to income ratios of any streamer ever. Like, he doesn't have many people that watch him, but the people that do, the dents they're called, are some of the most dedicated dents that have ever existed. Okay, that's it. He quits his stream after that and says, I'm going to update my drivers. Um, Cool. Very nice. Dark side fill. Can't wait to see what you do with your cool computer, bro. Oh, sorry. I wanted to move on from dark side fill, but I can't. Because guess what? Pay, pay, pay and Andy Worski have locked in the Kang. The Kang of hate himself, dark side fill. Um, and a lot of people speculated that PPP bought him that computer. Uh, I saw some people who don't know who P because if you don't know the dark side fill area, the, the forum is like a, like a black hole that only people obsessed with dark side fill posts into a uh, limited exception. So when, if, if he has any interactions with like PPP in the Kino casino, they're just like, who, <laughs> who are these people? And they're very angry that the, he's like white knighting them. Um, or that the PvP is. Because apparently PvP and Andy have been, like, hyping him up as a Kang for a long time. And that's, like, upsetting, upsetting the Dark Side Phil A-logs. And there's a conspiracy that Pay Pay Pay, uh, Pay, Pay paid for uh, Dark Side Phil's fancy new computer that, unfortunately, is a piece of shit and can't connect to the internet because it's just broken. Um, so they have locked in. Uh, he appeared in chat. And that was hype. He apparently uh, said something and praised um, PPP in his chat. Where's the message at? Here it is. DSP Gaming Real says, Because I can see someone saying they're an incel like 40 years old, but 24, come on. Um, so I guess they were just talking about incels or whatever, and DSP decided to opine and say, like, if you're 24 years old, you can't say that you're an incel. You're just a late bloomer. That's the DSP take on that, I guess. But his appearance in chat was a fucking 
uh, catastrophic event sent shockwaves around the sector that DSP has entered the fray. And it's just casually typing in the, the Kino Casino chat, um, which reminds me that um, after this stream, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which I think is 10 p.m. Eastern and what would that be? Like 2 a.m. UK time. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, they're doing an interview with him tonight. Yes, tonight. Um, so just, a, I, I would raid them, but I don't think they'll be live. If they're live, I'll raid them, but I think that they're starting to interview DSP. Um, cool. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!